Okay, here is the Fatork uh, Mini DLP Projector. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the unboxing because I I see videos on projectors. They're 8, 10 minutes long and 60% of that is looking at a box and the contents and the manual. And that's ridiculous. I want to just jump right into using it. But uh, it is worth mentioning, just like people have said, it is a very fine box. Uh, well made and will suffice for the short term until I can get a case for it. And um, you all know that there's a manual. You all know that there are accessories. Let me just get right into the uh, camera itself. Of course, it handles well. It looks beautiful. It is, um, it is small. Uh, so it is uh, designed to be portable. And this one stores a charge that should last up to about two hours. In terms of its dimensions, right there, it's uh, uh, just under four and a half inches tall, about two and three quarters wide on one side, and about the same on the other. Okay, and of course, and it does have the uh, capacitive touch controls on the top. It does come with its own little stand. And while some reviewers knock it, hey, not every mini uh, projector can has a stand with it. This one does, so that's a plus. Uh, it does come with its own HDMI cable. And the other box has the power supply. and Okay, and it does have the remote with it as well. And uh, the remote does take uh, two AAA batteries. Okay. Okay, I have uh, placed a little tripod on it, fastened it on, and I do have the uh, HDMI cable plugged into a mini PC and power. Okay, and you can see the red LED here indicating that there is power. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, now I am, um, there's a little dial here on the side, and I'm using that to focus the picture quality. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and notice how if the picture's off a little bit, it will start to correct itself. Okay. See that? That's a very nice feature this one has. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and using the remote, I'm going to go down to uh, select HDMI. And that should immediately bring us to the Windows computer. And you can see, you can read the captions. And you can read them quite well. And this is one I would use for the occasional presentation I might have to make and I am actually quite comfortable that I can display even at a short throw distance a very nice image and that's uh, with light on let me cut the light here in my lab lamp off and now it's even better looking okay and yes if you zoom in if I'm zooming in here I, I'm able to easily read uh, the text, and that's on a Windows 11. Now here you see pictured the desktop from my Mac Mini M1 2020 model. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can adjust the settings for the display, get a little bit better image here. Okay. 
Okay. On the Mac side, um, it seems to really like the high DPI uh, resolution. You can see that now. And the text is very, very clear. Wonderfully so. So on the Mac side, uh, at least on my Mac Mini M1, the 960 by 540 high DPI is really shining. The 1080p by default did not look as good. Cutting out the light. Now it does appear a little bit brighter perhaps in the recording. There's none of that as I'm looking at it. Okay. Try to get a better focus there. Okay, you can see what it looks like on the Apple side with that uh, 960 by 540 high DPI resolution. Now, to display streaming video off my Apple TV, I found this uh, picture mode setting of normal to work very well. For the Apple TV, I did have to go into settings and go to video and audio and come down and reset video settings and I put the format at 1080p HDR 60, uh, 60 Hertz for the refresh rate. Uh, once the video settings were reset, uh, the image quality I found to be very good, as you'll see here. If I need anything from you boys, wipe the truth when I expect to get it. I catch you lying again. I'm going to use the tape. That's blackmail, Ms. Love. And got me right away. And there you have it. Um, so far, I've been very impressed with the video quality. Uh, I do recommend it. Uh, I found it to have very good quality uh, image and light. When there's low light in the room, ambient light, it is dependent on what kind of light. Regular standard light bulbs, it does pretty good. Uh, fluorescent light will wash it out. And then you'll have to go dark in order to view the image quality. Um, but it's very good value, and I don't see anything that comes close to it, especially given its battery charge, making it very portable. Um, so I do uh, recommend it. It's about $180, $190 on Amazon, but I got it for half that, buying it in like new condition on Mercari. I hope this helps, and until next time, bye-bye.